I've always admired the um, sectioned machinery which uh, you see in museums and like places. Um, so I decided to uh, make a couple of my own from uh, Steam Toys. Uh, I actually made two. There's, this one here is uh, the engine sub-assembly from a Walesco D16 and this one is uh, a Mamad SE3. The Walesco unit um, I bought as a uh, as a part engine. It never was complete. Um, it actually came with a few other bits and pieces, but the only um, anything like complete and working part was the, the engine subassembly. So I uh, did away with all the other bits and, and kept the uh, the unit um, with the initial intention of perhaps uh, getting hold of the rest of the engine, uh, boiler and so on, and uh, completing it and restoring it as a complete steam engine. But um, then I uh, later acquired a complete uh, D16, so um, there was no longer any need to uh, restore this one. And uh, so I had the idea of uh, sectioning it. Um, this was the first one I did uh, and I limited my sectioning to just the, the cylinder. Um, I cut it away with, uh, with it's starting off with hacksaw and then uh, a file and finally finishing off with emery cloth. The rest of the engine, the conrods, valve gear, valve rods, flywheel, crankshaft and so on, are unsectioned. And if you Turn the flywheel by hand. You can see the piston and valve gear working. And you can see that the Willasco valve gear is not quite a piston valve in the true sense of the word and it's not really a traditional slide valve either because it is cylindrical but the working is virtually the same as a slide valve see if you reverse it it takes half a revolution before the valve gear catches up due to the slip eccentric
I fitted a Meccano sprocket onto the end of the shaft so that it can be powered by an electric motor or something like that if so desired but uh, I don't have a suitable setup for that I did try it with a Meccano clockwork motor which was more fun than uh, use because it didn't only last it for a few seconds the Mamard SE3 is in some ways a bit more interesting because it's uh, has a complete it's a complete engine including the boiler and all its fittings um, slightly less interesting in that it's only a um, an oscillating cylinder type engine therefore much simpler in its working but it's still surprising how many people don't know how an oscillating cylinder engine works so it does serve a purpose I section the two cylinders in two different ways the front one the, uh, the cylinder itself is sectioned then the other one I've sectioned the port face so that you can see the how the, the two ports work I've also section the boiler along with the fittings the uh, whistle safety valve and the throttle valve are all sectioned And they all work as well. The uh, whistle still works. Not as a whistle, obviously. But the uh, safety valve plunger still works. And throttle valve lever still works. Again, if we turn flywheel, we can see the operation of the piston and the oscillating cylinder. In this case, you can see the felt pad oiling system. You can see the hole in the end of the cylinder from inside and at this end of the stroke you can see the upper hole in the port face and the other one you can actually see both holes the, the operation is it's interesting because you don't see much but you can see the configuration of the portholes and the pipes going to them and also the back end of the felt oiling system felt pad I also sectioned the burner so you can see what's inside a vaporizing burner this one also has a Meccano sprocket if 
for powering from an external source although I've never tried this one with any external power source at all yet I might rig this one up along with the Willesco one at some time with uh, an electric motor on a stand for display purposes at some time in the future but that's a long distance project <laughs>